And in this case, the implant can be easily removed by the rescue kit or uh, the removal kit, implant removal kit. Nowadays, we have a lot, lot of kits the, to remove the, the failed implants. And uh, you use the tools to engage the inner hole of the implant and then reverse. The implant can be easily removed. The, the most important thing is the thickness of the implant. If the implant is not thick enough, you will face the fracture. But in this case, like the solid abutment fractured, where to engage the hole? So in, in this case, the trefine is a very good tool to remove the osteointegrated implant. But the trefine will enlarge the socket. If we want to immediately replace the implant in the same surgery, the bigger diameter implant should be used. But we know the disadvantage of the wide diameter implants. And in much cases, you cannot use the wider diameter implant in, in, the, same, in the same surgery. And we all know this, the automatic extraction of the molars. Separate the, the molar into pieces, and uh, we pick it piece by piece. So can we use this technique in implant? I tried. This is my first case. This is 4.5 millimeter in diameter and uh, 9.5 millimeter in length. There is a abutment fracture here. In that time, I didn't have the rescuer kit. So if now I face this case, I sh should use the re removal kit to remove the uh, fracture abutment. But that time, I didn't have the removal kit. So I tried to take my high-speed handpiece, use the surgical carbide burr, to separate in the implant, cut in mid in buccal lingua direction and detach the two parts. And I extracted. And then I immediately replaced the implant with a new, the same size, 4.5 by 9.5 millimeter implant. You can see the gap. The gap is very small. It's perfect. I show this case to my colleague, and they said there was no osteointegration. Because they think osteointegration should be like this, and this is impossible to remove the tooth without damage the surrounding bone. We check the definition of the osteointegration. There are two ways of implant anchorage. When the implant is made by the metals, like pure commercial titanium, there is a lot of uh, slot and the surface, so bone can hold in, hold in the implant. So there is no chemical bonding between bone and implant. So the greater the surface, the greater the contact. And another is called the bioactive retention. Like we coded the HA on Titanic. So the bio, bioactive materials will will lead in the bone to growth and lead in a physical chemical bonding. This is like the ankylosed with the bone. Nowadays, we use the pure, tit pure titanium implants. We have the rough surface. The bone grow 
around the surface and the holding the implant. So the bone implant surface can be separate by smart method. And my colleagues say, it's just you are lucky. But I tried another, another case. This is my second case, B9.5 and B.8. B the implant removed and then insert a new sand size implant. And the gap is still very small. And the third case, immediately in place, replace the implant with a new implant. So this is a predictable technique. And the technique we cut in the middle and then detach the two parts in the bone. So what instrument we, we need? High speed handpiece with a carbide burr, long carbide burr. And also, in the first, if the bone covers the shoulder, we sh should remove the bone surrounding the implant with a fissure, fissure burr. And then, create the gap. The first step, create the gap between the implant. And cut in the central and detached. And if you want to place a new implant, you can put it. And also the stability is very good. So the indication of this technique is in the cent should be in the central hole not to engage. If you can engage the central hole, you can use the remove kit to remove it. It's much easier than this technique. And if you want to immediately re-implant. And if the buccal and lingua plate is very thin, you cannot use the trefimber to remove the implant because it will destroy the buccal and lingua plate. Of course, if you don't have the rescue kit, you can use this technique as an emergency technique. And what is the disadvantage of this technique? Annoying titanium par particle, because you will see a lot of particle here. The particle didn't harm the result, but the particle will let your picture not so beautiful. This is also a time-consuming technique. In the first time, I spent 90 minutes to remove the first implant. But in the third implant, I improved and uh, extract the implant in 30 minutes. The patient will feel the vibration when you, when you grind the titanium. So this is very uncomfortable to the patient. And also, limit of view. I had published this technique in this, art, in this journal. And let's see the movie about how to cut the implant. This, this lady had to implant and the angulation is not right. So we want to remove it. We okay. uh, this is the first implant we cut in the central. And we should cut until we see the bone around the implant. And I will speed it. And this is high speed and cut by burr. And oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. 
And first, uh, grinding the implant body in the same in, inner hole until you can see the bone. And then another side. And use the elevator to rotation in the central to de uh, de uh, to separate the in the the implant into two pieces and detach one piece remove it by forceps or mosquitoes. and detach another part. And removed by forceps. After remove this, check an X-ray to see if there are any rest of implants in the socket. If there are rest of other implant particles in the bone, you can use the ultrasonic instrument to vibrate it and uh, the, the part, another part will detach. Okay. So when we, we can compare the socket before and after the socket is almost the same size. When I show this case to my colleagues, they have several questions and I will uh, I will show it the questions about about my colleagues. The lens limitation. The longest one I tried is 11 millimeter in lens. It will depend on the shank of the sur surgical burr and also the limitation of the view. So will the bone damaged by the heat? Use this technique, we should use a lot of irrigations. So the bone, I think there is no damage around the surrounding bone. There is another way to remove the implants. It's the to necrosis the bone surrounding implant by purpose, but we, we, we don't want to damage the bone surrounding the implant. And why I don't use the trephin and then put a longer one. It's, a, it's a, a, another solution. But in some situations like this, the, the implant is very near the neighboring tooth. So if I use stretch fine, I will damage the apex of the neighboring tooth. And in this situation, the nerve is very near. If I removed it and use a longer one, the, the nerve could be damaged. And the reason of the abutment fracture, why I, why I have several cases with abutment fracture, I think the case is because of the, the, the tooth is in the free end case. And when the chewing force is very heavy, there, sh there could be some problems, like this and like this. Okay, Thank thanks for your attention. Thank you.